Good. Having come back from uh, the uh, the farm belonging to uh, one of our customers in the and this village of uh, Uma here. Now we've taken two samples of water from the place. The first one that is not uh, with label is one directly from the second borehole that has not been tested. So let's see what the pH reading of the borehole is going to look like. Okay, so it's going to put the reagent in now and we we'll see what we got. Now the second one of course is from the treated uh, water now after it's been passed through the alkalizer but let's look at the first one first from the second bowl one two three oh my god okay now. now mix it together okay let's look at it against the uh, against the reagent if we look at what we got is about the same about ph5 yeah oh this is almost yeah this is between four and five what's about 4.5 4.5 that's not good enough we want something between 6.5 or 6.6 .6 to 8.4 uh, no from 6 to 8.5 so this is still not acceptable because it's about 4.5 okay so we'll pour this away and let's see the second one the one that's been treated with the alkalizer now. So it's going to rinse, rinse with a little of the alkalizer water. No, rinse with the real water so that we know we have a proper reading. Okay, it wants to wash off so that we're sure that uh, we don't have undue influence. Now, by the way, this is not a shinap. It's the water from the treated bowl coming up from the alkalizer. So let's see what we have. Moment of decision. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the Mr. Fish alkalizer system. Always right. All the time. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is 7.6. <laughs> Good news. Good news. Good news. So, the farm is ready for action and work. Good news to the fish. Good news to the entrepreneur. Good news to the Mr. Fish group. Good news for everybody. Good news to the customers going to buy the fish. This is exciting. Well done. Sunday. I don't want to show his face, but let me just show you very briefly. Okay, he's still chewing.